So the Cyberpunk 1.2 patch was promised to arrive sometime this month, as CDPR did state that it would come within the following weeks after the 1.1 patch and today guys I want to talk about what to expect from this new inbound patch. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So the 1.2 patch is inbound. An exact date though we do not know. All we have is the extremely vague roadmap as well as the word from CDPR that it will come within the following weeks after the 1.1. Now I'd like to tell you about our plans for the future and present a path for Cyberpunk 2077 on consoles and PC. We have already released three hotfixes improving the game but that's just the beginning. Our ultimate goal is to fix the bugs and crashes gamers are experiencing across platforms. Please expect bigger and smaller patches on a regular basis. The first update will be dropping within 10 days and it will be followed by another, more significant one in the following weeks. We will of course continue to work on the game in future updates and improvements beyond that. Our big plans for supporting Cyberpunk in the long term did not change. While the 1.1 patch landed on all platforms on the 22nd of January, and with this patch we did get a ton of fixes, mainly to quests, performance and stability. But with it we did get a few other bugs too, mainly the game breaking bug which featured Takamura. Which they did go on to address in a 1.12 hotfix which dropped on the 28th of January, which did sort that problem out. But the 1.1 patch more or less just applied more stability and performance to the game, which in my opinion was felt more so on the older generation consoles. On PC and next gen, you could hardly feel a difference. Now it is mentioned that the 1.1 patch will be or was the foundation to the 1.2 patch, so in theory the 1.2 patch should have way more of an impact on the game in terms of performance, especially on those last gen consoles. And that's all I feel this patch will bring. And I'm sorry but I'm here to bring it all back down to earth guys, because I don't think the 1.2 patch will be as significant as many people are expecting, and what they're expecting we'll get onto later on in the video. I just believe it will bring the game up to a point where it's better overall on those last gen gaming platforms, i.e. the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, Xbox One, Xbox One X, whatever. And that's where the main issues lie. Yes, many people still play on these OG consoles, but many, many people also play on next gen and PC, where we don't really feel that much of a difference with these said patches. I mean, yes, they're there. There's a slight difference to performance and stability, but in my opinion, the difference is barely noticeable because how the game runs. It's kind of like the change you experience on next gen console and PC when you move from a more populated and clustered area to an open field and things start performing that little better. And because instances like this are so common on PC and next gen, the performance and stability fixes they apply with these patches are much harder to notice. Yes, in terms of quest fixes and bug fixes, you can see and feel the changes, but in my opinion, the actual main core issues this game has, which trees off into many other broader problems we see on the outside, are things I feel will need fixing before many of us who play on PC and next gen will notice any kind of big difference. Because right now there are so many bugs and issues that need sorting before they even attempt with the core problems. And these core problems are the kind of things we see with pre-release betas. And in reality that's kind of what this game feels like to many people. Like it's in those early beta stages. And as we also know many of the CDPR devs didn't think this game would be ready or should have been released until 2022. This tells you the kind of time frame needed to perfect the game and get the game to a point of what we expected. And guys, don't take this the wrong way, I am the last person to try and thrive off negativity when it comes to this game. I still love the game and I'm still playing it every single day. And I do believe underneath all the bugs and glitches there is a great game there. And I'm willing to wait while CDPR sort it out. But at the same time, I want to be real with you. And I do feel many people are waiting on the 1.2 patch and believe after it, we will see a much, much improved version of Cyberpunk. And although that would be great, it's highly unlikely. What the 1.2 patch will do is add an extra layer of stability and performance to the game. One I feel will be felt across the board platform wise, but more so on those older platforms. And I know because of my words this video will get hate, and that's fine because I understand people expect much much more. I expect much more, you're allowed to at this stage, but the point is Cyberpunk is a long long way off where it should be, and it's going to take much more than two big patches to fix the game. And it's why on the roadmap they state they will continue to drop updates and improvements. 
Now what I want to see from this patch at least is to get the game into a state where we can start seeing a rollout of DLCs. Because of its current state and CDPR concentrating on patches has indeed pushed back any DLCs. DLCs we would have had by now. So yeah, out of the 1.2 patch, I do hope it puts the game into a state ready for the induction of the many DLCs we were promised for Cyberpunk 2077. And I think guys that's probably the best outcome from this patch in reality. Now I asked on a post on my channel earlier today to see what people want to see from this patch and it's the reason why I'm making this video because some people are expecting extra levels, AI reworking, more skills, more legendaries added into the game. I mean this is just not going to happen. This is just a patch. This is just going to apply stability and performance to the game, fix a few bugs, fix glitches and try and get the game on a straight and narrow. It is just a patch. For things like that, for things like AI updates, added loot, more skill trees, things like this you're going to need a major game update. And for most of what people want, we won't see until future future DLCs. So yeah I do think people are putting their expectations a little high with a 1.2 when in reality it's not going to deliver anything like that. I mean I wish it would but it just isn't going to be the case. Right now CDPR trying to get this game sorted, they're trying to get it straight, they're trying to get it back on that PlayStation store. If they were to add extra levels into the game, if they were to add extra loot, extra missions, extra quests, or you get people bitching about them adding stuff when the game isn't fixed. They need to get this game fixed before anything like that drops and things like that will only drop with DLCs and major content updates. They ain't dropping with patches to fix the game. So I'm sorry to be the burden of bad news but it just isn't going to happen with a 1.2 patch. But yeah people I just made this video just to kind of reassure guys in what to expect. And like I said many people are way over expecting with the 1.2. But yeah how do you think the 1.2 patch will affect the game? I got that kind of funny feeling it might drop a couple more bugs into the game but we will see. I mean if we check out the roadmap as you can see on the screen now the 1.2 is just a start. They say then they're going to apply multiple updates and improvements with three DLCs which will follow the rest of this year. With then the next gen upgrade for consoles which I cannot wait for. But I do think by the time the next gen update comes that's more or less a time frame we can expect for this game to be perfect. And around that time too we may see major content updates at the same time. But we will see people we will see. Right now it's about being patient. I know a lot of people haven't got patience. A lot of people expect more and rightly so. A lot of people have been disappointed with CDPR. A lot of people have lost trust and you cannot blame them for that. But all I'm saying is don't over expect with a 1.2 because it probably isn't going to be what most people are thinking. But we will see people, we will see, hopefully I am wrong. But let me know down below what you want to see from the 1.2 patch in terms of stability and improvements. Just drop a comment down below. But on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.